Here we have a Dell Alienware laptop. Looks something like this. That came in for a damaged LVDS connector. That's what the customer said. And he said the laptop is making a weird beep noise. Something like that. And he does not know what's causing it, but he said the LVDS connector is damaged and he wants it replaced. So right now we're not able to output any image onto the screen because of the damaged LVDS connector. Let's take a look. I already applied flux here. I was going to attempt the repair without recording, but then I thought, why not record it? I have a lot of videos working on the same exact laptop, doing the same exact job. But this one is different because all the pins of the connector are still soldered onto the board. I do not see any loose pins at all. The only thing I see loose is the connector itself. So when the LVDS cable is plugged in, it's likely not making a connection with the plastic piece inside that has a connection to all the pins. That's what's probably happening. But all the pins are solid, no ripped pads, and nothing like that. Now, we did not disassemble the motherboard out from the laptop, and the reason is it's a nightmare to remove that board from this laptop. I have access to the connector from the outside. So I told Big Buzz do not waste time disassembling the motherboard of the laptop. I can work on the connector like this. It's a very tight area, but I can do it. I've done it before. Those are one of the laptops that take a lot of work to disassemble. So we're not going that route. If I did not have an option or choice, then we would do it. But I know I can do it without having to remove the motherboard. We have to work smart and not hard, right? I always mention. We're going to apply low melt solder on all the pins. And we have low melt right here. Fume extractor on. Little bit of flow melt solder goes a long way. Let me change the tip quick. I'm gonna apply more flux. Got it. Connector is out, and now where's my wick when you need it? I've worked on so many laptops today, the bench is a mess. But it's not time to clean it. Right now is not the time. And we're all good. Now the last four pads are connected as one. So this area here requires a lot of heat to be able to solder or desolder the pads because all of them are connected as one. When you are trying to push one person, it's easy. If two people are holding hands and you want to push them, it becomes more difficult. Four people holding hands in a circle, it's going to be impossible. A lot of thermal mass. So when we solder the new connector, it's okay if we bridged all four pins. You can tell, one, two, three, and four, all of them are connected to one big pad. Same goes here. One, two, three. Now we're gonna apply flux front to back, just like that. Let's grab an LVDS connector. And a lot of people ask if we sell those connectors. We do not currently have them on the site, even though we have a lot in the shop. So maybe we'll make this an item that you can buy. Very hard to find this item. But for the time being, you can buy everything else that you need. Hot air stations, soldering stations, 
thermal camera, power supply, voltage injection tool, tweezers, braid wig, original Amtec flux, whatever you need, whatever we use on our bench here, we carry and sell in our shop. All items almost always ship out same day. Just order, check out, pay, and we ship out your item ASAP. The connector is aligned, and now we're gonna use our NF dot mini pen, which you can also purchase off our site. NF stands for Northridge Fix, and we use one of the highest quality tips in the market. I've been using this very same tip for the past, I would say, 10 months now. Same one. High quality tip. It grabs solder like no other, and you'll see. When you talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. I do not just make up stories. We'll use it and see how it goes. I'll grab it with my finger, even though you do not want to see your finger under a microscope. Because you're going to find a lot of things from giraffes, elephants, roaches, ants, bugs, trees, everything. Apply a lot of flux because flux is your friend. Let's start all the way from the top. And I'm soldering in real time. I did not fast forward. I'm not fast forwarding. Everything is being done in real time. That's why I'm talking. The power of the NF dot mini pen. Just touch it once and you're all good. We ran out of solder. So touch the tip with solder. And solder will grab onto the tip. That's a high quality tip. Now we have four more to go. And those may bridge, but that's okay. I'm trying to avoid having to hit the iron on that plastic bezel that you see on the far right. So I have the soldering iron pointed vertically. It's one of the things I have to worry about because we did not disassemble the board, but it's okay. And one pin we have to apply solder to is the last one, the last pin. I'm gonna apply flux one more time, just go over it one more time quickly, make sure everything is good. It's okay if those two pins bridged because they are connected to the same pad and there's a bridge in between them. Solder bridge is okay there. Same here. And last but not least, we did it. We are done. And we're not gonna solder the sides. We do not have any pads to solder the sides onto. I'm not gonna apply any glue. I do not want anything to go inside the connector otherwise we're gonna have to do it again right now once the screen is connected it's not going anywhere and the customer would have learned by now not to do work on his own if he does not have a prior repair experience the customer is paying a lot of money plus expedited service it's a business laptop and he wants it done ASAP
expedited service is usually one to eight days, but I told the customer, we're gonna try to do it for you as soon as possible because it's a business computer and he needs it. I'm using Kimtech wipes to remove all the flux of the board. Let's go ahead and test the pins. Make sure everything is solid. Solid, 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 solid. Wow, amazing. Not even a single pin is loose. The power of having a good quality soldering iron or soldering iron tips because the soldering iron itself does not do magic. It's the tip on the soldering iron that does the magic. We use the highest quality tips in the market and I always mention it. The way solder sticks onto the tip, the way the tip transfers solder over to the pins. If you had a cheap tip, this job would not have been possible. Wow, every single pin is making a very solid connection. And now we have the last four pins. They are connected as one, so it's okay if they all bridge. And we're done. I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble and test, reassemble the cable, and I'll be back to finish the video. Customer said the laptop is making a beeping noise. So I do not know what that is about, but we're gonna find out. That's our donor board's room. Laptops of all types. Dells, Lenovo's, MacBooks, Asus, Acer, Samsung, and iPads, all types. A lot of donor phones, fobs, hard drives, Xboxes, Playstations. Yes, the image came on the screen and we do not hear that beep that happened before, the tone. So maybe that tone was happening because the screen was not being detected by the motherboard, but the laptop is working. The screen is outputting an image. Awesome, amazing. We did an awesome job. And if I show you the LVDS connector, the screen is connected. We do not have any side pads to secure that connector, but once we close the cover, it's done. Customer has no business going in here, but if he has to go in here and do whatever work, he has to be careful when removing that connector. The job is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.